Peace be with you everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Trevor, very grateful to have you here and today's video I'm going to be sharing with you in a collaboration with my friend Pete over at Fun With Fragrances, my top 5 pickups for 2024 so far. So June, halfway through the year, we're a week into July already and mostly these are going to be freshies because that's what I've been gearing up for all of the beginning of the 2024 season January through February picking up some stuff for spring and summer so I'm gonna get started right away with this first one which is a cheapy a little bit close to my heart just because it's a bit of a discovery something that I picked up on my own just seeing it in stock at Joma shop and really fell in love with it it's a little bit old school so you have to like that style fragrance but it's very refreshing cool cold crisp and quite a gem and I'm a fan of the presentation for under $20. This is Bediver Bourbon from Mono Theme. So like I said, under 20 bucks, I got mine on Joma Shop for right around 15, I wanna say. And it's a really beautiful Vetiver fragrance. There's no really boozy tones in here. The bourbon is in reference to a type of fragrance note or like a high quality, maybe geranium or rose. So you do get a cold, crisp floral like that geranium there's some artemisia that would account for that as well a little bit of a crisp tone to it almost sour soapy very clean a little bit poor on performance but just one of those really awesome lounging around on a hot spring or summer day i think i'm going to wear this a little bit more in the springtime just because it has a really nice grassy soapy appeal but the crispness about it is amazing for the high heat so Discovery 2024 Vetiver Bourbon from Mono Theme. That's my first. The next one is one that I was happy to get my hands on. It's not a full bottle, but it is a 30 ml um, official release from the brand in their packaging. So it was something I was hoping to get to test because there are a lot of clones of it. And I wanted to have something to get some real know-how with the actual fragrance. This is Bulgari's Tigar was lucky enough to get this on eBay for just over a hundred dollars so instead of forking over three to four hundred for the full thing I've got a probably a year or more's worth especially with the size of my collection of the actual Tigar for an affordable price something that didn't really have to break the bank for me to scoop up and I'm really glad to have this one and it's been an enjoyable wearing experience ever since the next one I was really excited as one of my pickups for 2024 because I got a really great deal on this one. It's been way overhyped, I don't know, on TikTok or whatever, but it's been sold out almost everywhere, even at the official re or from the brand's website for quite some time. I think it recently came back in stock, but I was on the mailing list at Aura Fragrance and this came in and I picked it up for $89 and it's really hard to come by this for anything less than 180 or above that right now this is french riviera from mancera so like i said one of the reasons i'm ranking this as my top pickups for 2024 is just because of the great deal i got on it and how difficult it is to score this right now getting in on that email list with aura fragrance and snatching this one up has been great this is a beautiful kind of second skin scent for me it's something that i like to wear where it's so miserably hot i don't feel like wearing a fragrance I do get like a salty, sun-soaked skin, suntan lotion, sand, a little bit of some coconutty feel, tropical florals that lend themselves a lit, little bit dewy and watery, and then some awesome, awesome citruses. Very light, but like I said, it's something that I really like about the fragrance for those days that are just so miserable that wearing a fragrance almost sounds a little bit too much at all and this can carry you through a day like that and be refreshing in that sort of circumstance the next one also got a really good deal on this one i both am putting it in the list because i'm in love with the scent profile and because i think even joma shop had this listed as a mistake for the price that i got it for i paid 159 and then with a coupon i got it down to 149 so paid less than 150 for this when it usually it goes for 260 plus this is the parfum version of roja parfums scandal so really amazing deal i placed the order and then it immediately listed it as out of stock because i was going to put it in the community tab but managed to get this one for a really good price they ended up sending it out regardless of the 
snag that I got it under, and this is an amazing fragrance. It's listed as an aromatic fougere, and I see it um, listed in other top 10 lists in the fougere category. And there is a really nice lavender in here, but I don't really get so much of an outdoorsy fern-like accord, nor a real shaving foam type cleanliness. I get something more like a Italian citrus soapy style fragrance, but with a British touch to it. Classed up a little bit, but it reminds me of things in the line of Boucheron Pour Homme or Armani O, things of that nature. Um, Forest 89, but this is the best version of that scent profile, and I love all of those fragrances, and I'm really glad to have this sort of king of the hill in that scent profile to be wearing and just have been enjoying that all year long so far and then finally my favorite pickup of 2024 this is a favorite of mine just because it is both a little bit of a discovery i think i just saw this when i was browsing their selection online i was thinking about getting my mom a fragrance from here and for mother's day and was kind of looking what they had and i saw this and i'd never really seen anybody talk about it online Looked at the reviews, saw that it was rather favored on the Fragrance Again Parfumo reviews and decided to pick it up and really glad that I did. A new summer favorite and possibly in my top 10 period right now. This is Chanel Paris Edinburgh. Really beautiful powdery vanilla, musk, lavender, and then a cypress note and some sparkly citrus that really make this cool cold and refreshing reminds me of the great outdoors uh, almost like a lumberjack and a tuxedo is one of the ways i like to describe this fragrance because it has this really amazing class and elegance but also this outdoorsy feel and the dry down with that lavender vanilla almost gets barbershop-esque in terms of its enveloping scent profile and just that uh cleanliness and then the cypress just adds this really awesome sort of indigo hue to the fragrance. Um, just something really stunning that I'm glad to have found. Not the greatest performance on this one. I think the whole O-line is meant to be a little bit light to wear, but uh, stunning fragrance that you can wear spring, summer, and fall. That cypress lends itself to a very woody favorability in that season. So. I'm going to hand this over to you, Pete. Thank you for including me in this collaboration. And uh, let us know in the comments section what your favorite pickups of 2024 have been. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Wow. There are some absolute bangers there. Like Bulgari Tiger, some Roger Performs, Mansara. I mean, I, I haven't got any of those. So let's face it, I can always add them to my collection. So that is amazing. Thank you so much, Trevor. Um, so now it's my turn and I've got my work cut out because that is some seriously, seriously heavy hitters. But I'll better do my best. So as always, I've got my five best pickups of the year of 2024. It is a little bit later than expected, but as always, let's crack on to this list and I'll tell you my top five best pickups of the year so far. Right, we start off our list and I'll be honest with you, Four out of five are niche, and the other one is just quite frankly a banger. So the first one I am going to talk about is from the House of Amaru. This is Santal de Inns, and this came out in 2016. Now this is a very sexy, dark, um, incense fragrance. This is what I would like to wear in really cold winter nights, and I want to be like, I'm here. It's a bold statement, this one is. Oh, it's lovely. Got incense, Chinese cedar, so again, a little bit more aromatic, it's very nice. Now, this has got curry tree, now I have no idea how, what that note smells like, it's a very unique note, so that's something I'd like to know how they got that. Turkish rose as well, leather, vertebrae, and a bit of musk. This is sexy, it is wonderful, um, it's not cost too much, this cost me about 80 quid. For this 100ml bottle. Now I have to say Amarud is in the house. I haven't discovered a lot from yet. This is a second or third bottle from this house. So again, it's stuff I'd like to get into a little bit more. But this one was an absolute gem of a pickup for this year. Um, like I say, it will be in my um, autumn or winter rotation for this year. Without a shadow of a doubt. Now where I put it, I don't know. And so yeah, 
but it's an amazing one to start with. So from the house of Amaru, this is Santal Das Inns. Right, next one up, and this one came out in 2013. It's the second one from this house that I've got. Um, it's a house I don't really know a lot about. I know it's a French house, and I know they've got some very, very good phrases, but again, haven't really delved too far into this house as well. From the house of Chevoy, this is a Gardner's Moy. Beautiful bottle, love the presentation. I think uh, they're all the same like this. So again, really nice bottle. But for me, it's a very fresh, almost like going into the garden, smelling like the herbs, like the mint, maybe going towards the greenhouse and you're smelling like stuff from the greenhouse. That's kind of where it goes, quite light, invigorating, perfect for a summer's day. And that's why I like this one so much. So it's got tomato leaf, coriander. So the tomato leaf, again, is a unique note, which kind of lets me think of a garden. This is why I think a fresh going out into, like even if you go for a walk in the woods with this, this will smell fantastic for that. It's also got black pepper, white lily, some raspberry. So again, you've got garden smells. You like, this is what I like about this one. A little bit different. It's not what I normally would go for, but I am very happy to have this one in my collection. Even a bit of a touch of musk and some oak musk, which gives a decent performance. I have worn a bit of it, so as you can see, I do like this one a lot. Considering how much I've got on my fridge, I've probably hit about five, maybe ten percent, five, ten mil. So again, I've hit a lot of this. Great one if you want to have something a little bit different to what you'd normally buy. Very nice, perfect for this warm, warm weather as we've got in the England. But this is the second one. This is Chavoy Godez Moy. Right, third one, and this is in actually no particular order, I've got to just be honest with you here. This next one is, quite frankly, sex in a bottle. I can't say it any other way, it's just fantastic. And I've got a few from this house now, and I've not been disappointed once, which is quite unusual for me, but this one has some Aaron Terrence shoes, this is Daddy. Now, I also picked up Smolder as well this year, which is a fantastic collaboration with them. Um, uh, Chris over at Fragmental, which I think was fantastic, did a great job there. I really love Daddy this one, and oh, it's just sweet, it's sexy, it's got spice in it. it. Smells very alluring. Again, this was something I'd like to wear cold at night, so I want to be a little bit different, stand out in the crowd. So Tonka, some nutmeg, vanilla. So you obviously got that lovely sweetness in there. Nutmeg is in there, so nice spices. So nice contrasting notes there. Oud, benzoin, so again, you've got that dark, resinousy moments to this. Very, very nice. Now again, don't go over lots with this. You need about three, maybe four split, and you are good for a good nine, 10 hours. It does perform very, very well. Patchouli, and even some sandal one hit. It's an absolute banger. And quite frankly, again, this will probably be more likely to be my winter rotation than my autumn rotation, just because I think it works really, really well. Very cold weather. So my third one up, and has some Aaron Terrence shoes, this is Daddy. Okay, fourth one, and again, this is another house I've barely touched into. Um, it isn't a very big bottle. I think they only do small bottles, but the concentration is phenomenal. It's from the house of Jerabine. This is Gonzo. Now, this almost smells like it's a bit boozy, but there isn't actually any booze in here. So it's got all the way the um, the blend is done. It almost smells like it's some sort of alcohol, but it's not. It's got a saffron, bergamot, so fresh, lightly spiced cedar some violets there again you've got some freshness in there but you've got some nice spices in there and it's warming it's cozy it's absolutely fantastic it's also got some um, brox in here which means it performs like a monster it's get this little bottle three sprays and i'm lasting 10 hours plus so again you don't need a lot it's an only a 30 ml bottle it's extra to perform so again powerful stuff so just be wary of that so if you still think oh i could put five six points you're gonna kill half the people in it. and sometimes that's overkill but if you have two maybe three sprays max that's all you really need now i think zero bin are quite powerful fragrances so just be wary of that 
This girl's got white musk and a bit of patchouli, so it's almost got like chocolatey-esque vibe to it. It's very, very warm, very cozy. Again, this would be perfect for uh, autumn and winter. Fantastic little fragrance. So for me, another great pickup of the year. And again, it's another house I'd like to delve into a bit more in 2024 and then start 2025. So this is Jerobin Gonzo. Right, I finish off with number five. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a discontinued fragrance, but my good God, is it a good fish and junior fragrance? Now, I am sad that this isn't about anymore, but I got an absolute steal on this one. I think I paid about 80 quid for this, and it's from the House of Armani, and this is a massive 250ml bottle of Mer Imperial. Um, I don't think people knew this had been discontinued, and I luckily got this for an absolute steal. Oh, but it's absolutely beautiful. So it's Mer. Amber. It's almost like it goes straight into that Middle Eastern type of vibe straight away. Very sexy. Again, perfect for the autumn, winter time. Benzoin, vanilla. So obviously your amber and vanilla again. All I can say is I love amber and vanilla. I don't care what's with it. It's, as long as those two combinations, that combination is there, I'm pretty certain I will love that fragrance. It's an amazing one for that. It's also got saffron and a touch of pink pepper so it's a lightly spicy warming with a benzoin perfect for going out again you are going to smell completely different to 99.9 percent .9 of the people out there because they don't know about it like i said only big downside to this is ever so hard to find so if you find a bottle of this any size even if it's 50 100 well it doesn't matter i was like i said i was extremely lucky to get a 250 ml bottle um, like I, said, I don't think people knew it was discontinued, but if you find a bottle of this and you like a warm, sexy, aromatic fragrance, go and find yourself some Armani Privé Myrrh Imperial. Right, so there you have it. My best, my best five pickups of the year. I also want to thank Trevor at TZ Fragrances. If you haven't checked his channel, please go support him. He does fantastic work all over the time. This is some really unique phrases that I haven't even seen before. So please go and subscribe to him. Um, I'll try and put a link to his um, YouTube channel underneath in the description box. But as always, now time to tell you what I'm wearing in set of the day. Right, my set of the day, and this is one of these phrases that always puts a smile on my face. I can't help it. I love this phrase absolutely a lot. Now that's a girl on. This is uh, EDL, EDP. So this is cherry, this is vanilla, it's got leather in here. It's an absolute beautiful gourmet fragrance. It's absolutely stunning. Came out in 2016. Oh, it's just, it's just magic in the air. And again, people love this one. It just smells like you're edible, quite frankly. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's a great thing to have. Um, the EDT is great as well, but I think EDP's just got enough. It's a little bit thicker than normal. Again, it's a quite a warm day, so I only put two sprays on it, so, and it doesn't need that much. So, great one from today. This is Girl on ED, Girl on ADL EDP. As always, let me know in the comments what your scent of the day is.